Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Hop on in Bobby, let's go cruise with our car trailer for some odd reason. Why do we got the car trailer on? I'm assuming you're adding to the collection. Damn, I'm getting new cars every week now it seems like. You are. My face looks oily. You get some Rochelle tea on that thing? Brandon. So we just drove about five hours, five and a half hours total, all the way to IAA in Seattle or Puyallup. And now we're waiting on the new car to show up. This is exciting. What do you think of the new car, Bobby? I'm super excited to see it. I don't even think I've seen pictures yet. It's pretty, pretty sick. What the frick? You like your new Eva? <laughs> I see it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't know it got a black Holy one. shit, that's so scary. We got ourselves a new Subaru. All right, all right. Give us the walk around, Bobby, of your newest addition to your Subaru family. So here's a new winter car. Let's explain. I purchased off my favorite auction site, IAA.com, a 2007 Subaru STI. Now it ain't just a regular STI, my friends. Here, stand over here next to it. She happens to be a limited edition, but I don't really care. Do I, should I tell them the, the plan in this video? Or should I keep that for a surprise? No, like, I, would I? I would tell them the plan. Because they think it's just another rebuild. Yeah. This car is another rebuild. As you can see, it's a little fuck fricked up. This wheel's pushed really far back. Honestly, I have, I don't know if you, if you guys have bought a car on auction before, you know they kind of just like, here you go, plop it on the trailer and you don't really have time to look at it. You can't like say, no, nah, I don't want it. So this is my first look at this car with you guys. What's up? You're just talking a little quiet. It'll be fine. So this wheel is pushed way back, as you can see. It's broken. It's a very expensive auto hand wheel, probably about 200 bucks. Got some nice damage here. I chipped the paint on the bottom already. Oh no, it doesn't really. So I don't know what the hell they did, but by the way, I'm just gonna throw this out there. If the person that wrecked this car or owned this car is watching, hit me up on Instagram. I want to know some more info. Look how red that tint is. Very red. Um, cracked flare, not a big deal. Let's just go over all the body damage. It's got 04 or 5 tails that are resealed. A carbon hood or carbon trunk and wing, which if anyone wants to buy, hit me up because I'm gonna part this thing out real quick. What else should we sell? Um, the bandana. Obviously some front end damage over here. Is that wheel push for? Definitely some PDR. Yeah, PDR. <laughs> Fucking mint. So yeah, let's go pop the hood. Ooh, we haven't seen under the hood yet. Oh, it's already. Oh, it is? Yeah. <laughs> Was it just sitting closed? Yeah. I got a flew open on the highway. I don't see any weird damage to like the the shut towers, which is good. Why is there a blanket on the intake? It's just let me explain what's going on, Bobby. We got an STI engine, front mount kit, 
some random ass mods. You know, I don't really care because guess what? My turbo is gonna be about this big and it's gonna sit right about here. Or wherever else the fab dude decides to put it. Are you gonna tell me your plans yet? This car is gonna be like a thousand wheel horsepower drag car. So Bader built, sorry, but uh, you're not gonna be the fastest in Spokane anymore. This is my official call out. Even though you're helping me build the car, I'm still gonna go faster <laughs> than you on the track. I've always wanted a drag car. Why I'm doing an STI over an Evo, I don't know. And why are you doing an older one? Um, I just, I love how these look, honestly. And they're a little bit lighter. I would love to do like a 15 plus like yours, but yeah, I think my main reason for wanting a Sub or over an Evo for a drag car is this, these damn trannies, man. I know the motors are shit, kinda, but the trannies are pretty sick, so. Yeah, that is the plan with this thing. I wonder what kind. Probably Godspeed. So yeah, I'm gonna get this thing home. We're gonna rebuild it. Obviously, you gotta make this thing drivable. I have no idea if it runs, if it starts, if it even turns over. It could be seized up for all I know. Every time I point the camera down, nobody can hear what I'm saying. But yeah, so if anyone wants this hood as well, nice carbon fibre hood. We should try to strap it down. Could you imagine if it or flies off on the highway? The only weird thing about this car, or not weird, but the only downside, it is a limited, so it's got a sunroof. Oh, what the heck? Those are my favorite. But it makes it a little bit heavier, which is fine, I guess. So yeah, for sale, hood and trunk, full carbon fiber and wing, because I probably won't need a hood when my turbo is this big. <laughs> Anything else you want to know? Oh, I wonder if it, that's what it used to look like. <laughs> that air freshener? I know, there's going to be somebody that knows this car on the channel. There's got to be. Northwest, it came right from Seattle. Who owned this damn thing and how the hell did you, what did you do? Yeah, tell us now what happened. Do you want to show them the interior? This, whoever painted this car did a shitty job. Here, take your camera. Hmm, let's see if we can jam the camera inside real quick. Add a quick release that's missing and it has some nice black leather sheets because it's unlimited. Right on. I'm gonna go ahead and say the whole car was resprayed and they did a kind of shitty job. Does that mean I have to repaint it even though it's gonna be a drag car? It might. That might mean that. Well, we have another five hour drive back to Spokane. We did a little janky tie down on the hood just so she don't fly open. We are ready to hit the road. Well, all my friends, we made it back home late last night. Tomorrow's video, we're gonna completely tear into this thing, figure out everything that's wrong, see if there's any frame damage. Maybe try to start it up tomorrow as well, depending on how far we can get. I need to figure out how to get this thing off the trailer because as of right now, I know this car is not gonna roll because that fender is completely jammed, or the wheel's jammed way back into the wheel well. We did go ahead and partner up with IAA again to save you guys some money, so if you wanna save $50 off of your registration fees, you can use my discount code DEVIN2022, and that'll get you $50 off of registering over at IAA.com, which I'll have first link down in the description box below. Super excited for this build. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you guys think. I'm hyped, it's gonna be fast. It ain't gonna be just a typical run of the mill build like I usually do, where it's like, just all the basic stuff, you know, a rebuild, wrap, respray, whatever I do, decide to do there. I actually bought this car for a purpose, and it's the whole ass. I'm super excited. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Peace out, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.